Here at an election rally in Rize, you don't need to look far to see the admiration to the Prime Minister. These people now listen to his party's candidate in the local elections. But all the talk is about Mr. Erdogan himself. I like everything that our Prime Minister does. I approve all of it. I'm going to vote for him. He is a powerful leader. He gets whatever he wants. People listen to what he says. We love him. Mr. Erdogan has won three elections in a row. In the last local elections, his party received 38% of the vote. He hopes not to fall below that. Many in Turkey are now convinced that this is more about just local elections. The prime minister himself says it is a struggle for the country's future. In Mr. Erdogan's village, where his parents are from, an opposition party is campaigning. They want to draw attention to the recent corruption scandal engulfing the government. The corruption, the wrongdoing of the ministers cannot be cleansed with the polls. Turkey's judicial system cannot allow that. Those ministers and their sons should be tried in court. But the local villagers do not think much of these allegations. Everyone is already corrupt in this country. At least our guys make investments, even if they steal. The only university in this town is named after Prime Minister Erdogan. The students here do not seem convinced with corruption allegations either. I think it's inappropriate to call him corrupt just by looking at allegations. This is an operation to discredit our Prime Minister. They are supportive of the ban on social media sites too. When Twitter is banned, it doesn't mean that freedom is restricted. I don't see any harm. In his hometown, the support for Prime Minister Erdogan seems solid. But if he loses even here, that will be a huge blow to his political aspirations. A sign many could interpret as the beginning of the end for him. Selin Girit, BBC News, Rize.